Hi there, I'm Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags. Today's Worship Flag FAQ question comes from our foundation series, What Are Worship Flags? And we're actually answering the question, What Are Worship Flags? Stay tuned. <laughs> That's a great question. I get this question a lot from both Jesus followers who have been part of a church culture for their entire life and also from people who have never stepped in the door of a church. So when I get this question, my short answer is worship flags are like color guard, but for church. They're dance flags. So that gives like a mental picture of what to visualize, but it doesn't actually answer the spiritual significance of what are worship flags. So what is the spiritual significance of worship flags? Well, God speaks in many different ways, including through color and movement. In our physical world, flags give direction, they act as a beacon, they stake territory, and they provide a display of identity. Worship flags have a similar function in the spiritual world. Worship flags are more than a piece of fabric on a stick that you wave around. Worship flags are nonverbal communication that give direction, act as a beacon, stake territory, and demonstrate identity. Flags can be seen from a long way away, even before audible words are heard. Speaking of audible words, even when you're close enough to hear the message, if two groups of people speak different languages, the message isn't received because the people are, can't communicate with each other. But color transcends language and can be understood independently of audible language. And worship flags give direction. They communicate where to go and who to go with. Jeremiah 4, 6 says, raise the signal to Zion, flee for safety without delay, for I am bringing disaster from the north, even terrible destruction. Worship flags act as a beacon. They point towards a place of refuge. Have you ever seen a tour guide carrying a tall orange flag to let their group know where their leader is so that no one gets lost or separated? It's the same in the spiritual realm. Psalm 60 verse 4 says you have set up a banner for those who fear you that they might flee to it from the boat. Next, worship flags stake territory. You've probably seen video footage of when American astronauts landed on the moon. The first thing that they did was put down an American flag to claim territory stake that they were there first. Isaiah 62 10 says go through, go through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, clear it of stones, lift up a signal, a flag over the peoples. And finally, worship flags display identity. Americans are very proud of their flag, and it's not uncommon for households to display a national flag, which identifies them as an American citizen. Canadians, like me, uh, love to use little Canadian flags on their backpack when they're traveling in other countries because they want to let people know where they're from. Numbers chapter two, verse two says, the people of Israel shall camp by his own banner or flag with the banners of their fathers. It's a direction, a worship flag. Give direction, act as a beacon, territory, and de demonstrate identity. I hope this helps. If you have other worship flag FAQ, please let me know in the comments and I'll get to them on another video. Don't forget to like and follow so that you'll know when I post more videos answering your worship flag FAQ.